Hello, Trady Ticks tribe. Just as another day winds down, and before the market awakens from its brief slumber, it's time for your regular dose of finance updates and market analysis. Welcome to another edition of Trady Didix Analytics. What's in store? July 2023 was a good month for SPA with a sizable 6 7 gain. Part of this can be attributed to July's tendency to finish positive 80 of the time over the past two decades. Some factors like positive options flow and SPY breaking a resistance level played a big role. However, trends have been changing recently. We've seen seasonality drop to 63 for August, a decrease in bullish options flow, and an upcoming resistance level. These shifts could impact future prices, so it's worth keeping an eye on them. Into the data verse. Seasonality. When we review the data from July, it's easy to spot the positive trend. In fact, over the last 20 years, July has ended on a high note about 80 of the time. You can see this upward pattern clearly in the left chart where the SP's progress over the last two decades is averaged out. As we transition into August, though, these lines start to level off a bit. While the chance of August ending in the green is still over 50, it's noticeably lower than July's 80 success rate that's a 17 drop. While this shouldn't cause investors to panic, it's worth keeping in mind as a gentle reminder to be a bit more cautious. But i.ib.cokenpchucom new project 74 peng image source trady dicks options flow flow data has been growing in importance especially with the uptick in options flow activity over the past 5 years and now with the new introduction of same day expiry options while there's a ton of stuff we could look at we'll focus on a few simple bits to get a clear picture. One of the easiest ways to see options flow activity in the whole market is something called daily deltas, or DEX for short. DEX takes the options flow deltas from every stock in the market and makes a bar chart for each day. Green bars signify bullish sentiment while red bars signify bearish sentiment. EPS i.ib.co.gdconum0, screenshot 2023-82 at 12.21 a.m. Ping. Image source, Tradidix. When we look at the July data, it's clear there were a lot of big green days, a lot of positive action in the options flow. If we take a peek at the past few months, July seems to have had the most green days along with some of the tallest bars. But as August kicks in, things are shifting a bit. The bars are still green, but they're not as tall as before. Plus, we're starting to see more red bars popping up. It'll be intriguing to see if this pattern sticks around, and if it does, how prices will respond. If the options flow stays positive, we could continue to climb but the data from the past few days has been more of a mixed bag. Price action. For some folks, price action is king. If that sounds like you, let's dive into some key points. There was a sticking point around the 430 mark, which had acted as both a resistance and a support level in the past. We tried to push past it a few times, but couldn't quite make it. However, we finally managed to break through in late June or early July. Ups. i.ib.co89 new project 76. Ping. Image source. Trady ticks. After a few days of testing, we managed to find support at the 430 level, paving the way for our upward march. From the auto-generated support resistance levels above, you can see the next hurdle lies around the 470 mark. We still have a bit of a climb to get there, but it's definitely on the horizon. For any more upward movement, the bulls will need to push past this level. However, given how far we've come, 
We might hit a wall at that point instead of breezing right through. Another useful thing to check out is the largest dark pool trades levels over the past month. These levels can often shed light on where the big money is sitting. Here are these levels plotted on the daily SP. Wise chart. Cups. I.ib.co4726 new project 771. Pang. Image source. Trady dicks. Two key things stand out here. Firstly, we've got over a billion dollars worth of dark pool trades at our current price levels. But after that, there's a notable gap from 453 to 445 in terms of big dark pool trades. This could suggest that if the price drops from 455 to 445, it may not find much support. Adding to this, as we observed in the support and resistance levels above, there isn't a distinct support level on the weekly chart until we reach about 440. Conclusion Wrapping up, July was a fantastic month for SPA with a noteworthy 6-7 gain. A mix of typical summer growth, breaking a critical resistance level, and enthusiastic options flow led to this outcome. As we step into August, the scene appears to be changing slightly. Seasonality is still on our side, but not as strongly as July. Options flow data is less bullish, and price action shows potential resistance at around 470. Adding to this, dark pool trades data reveal over a billion dollars worth of trades at our current levels, but suggest less support in the event of a downward move from 455 to 445. In conclusion, although the outlook is mostly upbeat, investors should stay vigilant, watch the data, and be prepared for any market shift. Keep thriving, keep trading, and stay tuned for more data-driven insights from your favorite source, Tradedix. After all, knowledge is power, and in the world of trading, it's your most valuable asset. Looking to dive deeper? Remember. Trady Didix is always here to help you navigate the complex market currents. Get involved and join the conversation. Swing by our Discord or Twitter. Links below to chat more. We love hearing from our community. See you again soon.